Welcome to Zayf Akım. Today we are with Matt Hines. Welcome, Matt. How are you? Thank you. Well, I'm great. Thank you very much. Can you in introduce yourself? Certainly. My name is Matt Haynes. I've been at HID for eight years. My current role is the Channel Sales Director for Europe. I've been in the access control security industry for 25 years, and it's my first time in Istanbul. Can you give us an overview of HID access control systems? Certainly. HID is a global leader in trusted identity solutions. We specialize in physical access control products, including our sign signature line of Signo readers, CIOS technology, which spans across a physical credential, as well as a digital credential, as well as numerous other products that include a, a range of controllers, so our Mercury range of controllers, and also our Aero range of controllers as well. What are the critical factors that customers should consider when investing in access control systems? That's a great question. So today, customers are a lot more informed when they're making the choice around physical access control systems. Customers want the f freedom and flexibility of choice. They want high levels of security and also flexibility in their product choices. Solutions they place on the wall have to be future-proofed for 10 years and beyond and offer best-in-breed technology and security and connectivity. How are customer demands changing in access control systems? So this is a really interesting question. So maybe 10 or 15 years ago, if you'd asked me this question, access control was maybe considered a grudge purchase. It was just to get the building secure and get people through the door. Now customers are demanding a lot more from their access control system. First of all, they're demanding the products to be highly secure and highly flexible. They're also demanding that the product do more inside the building. So not only do products operate on access control, they also operate on maybe other use cases, for example, secure printing, uh, photocopy, uh, vending machine access as well. So we broaden out the ecosystem and customers want to invest in products and technology that allow this to happen. The other thing certainly our global end users consider is choosing products that are scalable and flexible globally. So if a customer has an office today in Istanbul, uh, they buy one of our signature line Signo readers and they also op op open, open an office maybe in South America or over in Asia. They want to go to an HID partner and also buy the same product, the same configuration, and also the same installed quality. Can they manage all the ecosystem Correct. From, Tur from Turkey? Co co correct, our, our products are infinitely scalable. So not only do we offer products right the way down to small, medium business, but we also scale to an enterprise level solution. So a customer can have an HQ here in Turkey and control, for example, their mobile access to every employee globally. How does customer feedback shape your product development process? It's a great question. So we're constantly listen to customer feedback. We do extensive focus groups from our end customers, our system integrators, our distributors, and also our OEM partners globally. We take the product feedback back into our business, and that's formed part of our product development strategy to give us a scalable, flexible product set that meets the requirements of today's markets. What role do smart buildings and IoT integrations play in access control systems? What innovations can we expect in this field? So smart buildings has really seen our, uh, a growth curve in mobile credentials. So with our mobile credential offering, we have full API and SDK suites. And our technology partners embed HID mobile access technology in their smart building platforms. These specialized platforms allow for a complete workplace experience for an employee who can maybe order coffee, book meeting rooms, and use the facilities, maybe gyms or lockers, etc., as part of an overall building. And so how access control helps in that scenario, it signifies to the builder, building um, owner, the occupier, that the employee has entered the building. It allows them to consume the products and services all inside one app. So how is the demand for access control technologies shaping up emerging markets, especially in countries like Turkey? So in, in, in countries like Turkey, and, and we see this across emerging markets into, into Europe and, and globally, we need to offer scalable and flexible products. We need to have products that fit regional requirements in regards to security and also certifications. And we also need to have products that scale. Maybe businesses start smaller, but they scale globally. And so the product choice really reflects how, how they go to market and they choose their access control products for their buildings. The other thing I would say is about local localized support. We have an extensive partner network globally and we have some fantastic partners here in Turkey that offer fantastic support, installation, best practice, and no HID products and solutions inside out and to offer that best of breed service locally. How has remote working and hybrid work models changed access control systems? What solutions does HID offer for this new normal? Well, I think the new normal is now just the normal. 
Okay. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and really, uh, we go back to the mobile credential. So in the past, of course, you would go to a building, you would get a plastic card and you would go through a door. Now with hybrid working and also people going to different offices across you know, maybe in a state, uh, that's not practical anymore. So what businesses are looking for is a solution to meet the demands of a flexible workforce. This is where mobile credentials really play an important factor. So, so a company can control their credential population fully remotely, but also offers two benefits. Number one, you haven't got people traveling to offices to pick up cards. You haven't got cards being lost because people are not in the office very often. And thirdly, you keep the building secure because you're really controlling who has what on their mobile credential today. Thank you for all the information. Would you like to add anything before we finish? Thank you for the opportunity to speak today. It's, I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to engaging with our Turkish partners and understanding how we can support them further. And welcome back again. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Oh,